What's up, people? It's DC193 Gaming Tech, and uh, coming back to you guys with some breaking information about the Wii U. Um, system's still coming out, still going to be a great piece of machinery, but I uh, ran into some information on NintendoEverything.com where uh, Dynasty Warriors producer talks of Wii U specs will improve um, Warrior, I mean, improve Warriors or HD's 3 hyper performance. But one of the main things that they talk about is says one of the weaknesses of the Wii U compared to the PS3, Xbox, and 360 is the CPU power is a bit less. So games, so so for some games in the Warrior series include Dynasty Warriors and Warrior Orichi, when you have a lot of engines coming out at once, the performance tends to be tends to be affected because of the CPU dealing with. Deal, dealing with that is a challenge. So basically, what is that saying? Um, I'll post the article at the bottom because it goes on more. Like they're saying, developing for the new hardware itself was a challenge. So basically, basically, it goes on saying that this, the even though the Wii U has a great GPU, it has a shitload of RAM. Um, it has a slow CPU. I've said this before in a, a few videos a while back. Basically, basically, what happens is. That's the the whole Trinity effect. Um, a lot of guys won't get this because they're console gamers. I'm not putting you down or anything like that. Um, I'm not saying I'm the end all information, but this is basically factual information. You have to have the Holy Trinity. You have to have CPU, memory, and you have to have CPU, GPU, and memory. You have to have all three of those things. If you have a 7990 or a six or or a GTX 680 or 690, whatever the hell it is. 18, 32 gigs of RAM, whatever the fuck it is, an SSD hard drive, if you have a dual core, uh, I mean, uh, what is it, even if it's a quad core, um, C, um, what's it, uh, core 2 duo or old Q6600s, you're going to bottleneck the performance out of your out of your shit, which is, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's going to bottleneck it. So what does this mean for the Wii U? The Wii U is still going to get great games. It can still run 1080p, 50, um, what is it, 60 frames per second. People are still getting that out now. Like I have a buddy of mine that has a Q66, and he has like um, uh, uh, Nvidia GTX 6 690, or what is it, the 680 690, whatever it is. Now he gets 1080p. He gets pretty good scores, but when he plays games, he gets 60 frames per second. It goes over 1080p. He has a what is it, a, a 12 up to a 12 on um, what is it, a 1280 by 1200 resolution, which you know is higher than 1280p, uh, 1080p, obviously, duh. But what happens while he's in game? It bottlenecks. Like his performance at sometimes will just drop because the CPU isn't powerful enough. Now, what the CPU of the Wii U is? Basically, what they've said it's a um, it's a Broadway, uh, an IBM Broadway CPU. Now, the IBM Broadway CPU is the same one that's in the Wii. Now, is is it the same one? It's in the Wii, a, a three core of it, or is it a souped up version in three cores of it? We don't know exactly what it is. I'm not going to speculate. You guys hate when I do that because. You need proof, but anyways, just just take that with a grain of salt. It's three Broadway chips put together. It's a, it's you know what I'm saying. So is it the Wii used before the Wii the Wii CPU souped up and have three of them? It doesn't matter. It, right now we don't really know until again till someone buys it, tears that bitch apart, and runs diagno diagnose on it. So what does this mean for the Wii U? Is the Wii U gonna get a lot a uh, lack of games? If it's slower performance than the last engine, the last last gen, like it, I mean, a lot of this is gonna backfire on some of the uh, Nintendo fanboys, basically saying, "Oh, it's it's more powerful, blah blah blah, significantly more powerful, and all the other stuff." From what these developers saying, if this is factual information, but this is directly from the developer themselves. Again, this is all developer speculation. Again, until the system comes out, we don't know exactly what it is. For you know, what I'm saying piece by piece how it works. What's the GPU? What's the CPU? We don't know exactly what it is, but maybe that can explain why the system is that low, price low. The price is uh, the system is uh, priced that low. Because remember, the controller is $179, so that means the system's like almost 200 bucks again, the same price as the Wii. So it means they have to put older hardware inside of it in order to keep the price that low, which is why it only has a 32 gigs or 8 gigs. So. Maybe this may be true. What does this mean? 
is I, I already know Michael Pachter is going to have a field day with this. But again, what does this mean? Is this possibly the reason why there's no Borderlands 2 on the Wii? Is this possibly the reason why, uh, what is it, uh, Rockstar is skeptical of the Wii U getting the Wii, getting uh, GTA 5? Will we see a GTA 5 on the Wii U itself? Now, again, like I said, you can have everything under the sun and just have one thing. It could be, you can have a Core i7 Extreme Processor and have an old ass video card like a NVIDIA um, 89, 8900 O'Clock and 16 gig, 32 gigs of RAM SSD hard drive. You're still gonna bottleneck your system. You're still gonna bottleneck it. It's still gonna go by the front side bus of what the performance of the actual motherboard can allow or the graphics card. You know what I'm saying? All of that stuff has to mesh together. So for all you guys that don't know what that is, I, I would definitely recommend you look up to it because gaming on a console in this generation, it's not only now by what the company says, what game's coming out. It's just like with phones today. Like, you know, mom and pops used to just go pick up a phone and buy it. Now you gotta go see what the hell is inside the shit before you buy it. You may be buying old hardware. You know, it may not last too long, but that's not the case with the Wii U. I'm just saying, now in this generation, you definitely have to look up your hardware to see what's inside of it. Because according, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, more, di it's more diverse and it's more upscale now. So I would definitely say that the Wii U is still going to be an amazing system. It's still giving us 1080p, uh, 1080p 60 frames a second. But what does that mean for the future of, of hardcore development? Like Frostbite 3, you know what I'm saying? Like CryEngine 5, you know, Unreal Engine 4, 5, whatever it is that later comes out. Because these systems are, ten, are 5 to 10 year mark. Development and engines change quick. So what does this mean? Being that the Wii U is only supporting DirectX 10, it's holding it's holding some games back from developers because DirectX 11 has been out for a while. Don't be surprised if by middle or end of next year you see DirectX 12 coming around the corner. So what I'm saying is the Wii U is still going to be an amazing system, but with more and more news as it comes out, it's starting to look like the price is what you're really the price of the system is what you're really paying for now. Like, the, the controller costs a shitload of money, the system's the same price as the Wii when it first came out, or a little, a little bit more, or less. So that has to make you wonder and think. So you guys, I'm gonna post an article at the bottom, tell me what you guys think, this is DC1983 Gaming Tech. Again, I'm not taking shots at Nintendo fans. I'm not taking anything away from Nintendo fans. Trust me when I tell you this. I have that shit reserved. I have, uh, what is it? Um, Lego City Undercover Reserved. I have Zombie U Reserved. I got my Wii U Reserved at Best Buy instead of GameStop. Took it away from GameStop, took it to Best Buy uh, because Best Buy is going to have more. Uh, it's going to be a more of an experience over at Best Buy than GameStop. I don't know why. I've, every time I've gotten a new system, I've always gotten it at Best Buy or Toys R Us. But I'm still getting one day one. This doesn't change shit for me. It's still going to be an amazing system because I'm a game head. Whatever way you look at, take it, it doesn't matter. It's still amazing. What it has to offer, it's a lot more than Nintendo has offered Nintendo fans in 10 years. And yeah, I know what you guys are gonna say. Oh yeah, so where is uh, Star Star War? I mean Star Fox and Mario. And, well, not Mario. Star Fox, Metroid, and all that other stuff. If you don't believe it's coming, then you've lost your fucking mind. But then again, this is DC Nineteen Three Gaming. T tell me what you guys think. How do you feel about this? Is this again? There's that whole shit. I know there's gonna be people or Nintendo Rangers, Power Rangers gonna basically saying, oh, developers full of shit. I mean, whenever it's something good, it's true. Whenever it's something bad, it's bullshit. Anyways, DC193 Gaming Tech. Again, Nintendo fans, I'm not taking a shot. Remember, I'm right here with you. This hurts me just like it hurts you because a, sm a, a slower CPU than last gen is gonna hurt it in the long run. With with, let me, before I, before anyone says this, with third party. It's gonna hurt third party. 